Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva Venice of painfreeforlifepilates.com located in San Diego, California. I specialize in working with people who suffer from some kind of chronic pain or live with a chronic condition. And here on YouTube, I post weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength flexibility and mobility. In today's video, I want to give you some exercise ideas of how to prepare for skiing if you're a senior. Um, seniors tend to lose uh, mobility in their shoulder girdle, rib cage, in the hips, they get tighter. Also, there are some muscle deficiencies that usually present themselves as we age. For example, um, lack of strength in the spinal erectors, in the core, in the hip muscles. So in these exercises, we are going to address all of those. Um, first of all, thoracic mobility, being able to rotate the rib cage and move the shoulders is really important when it comes to uh, skiing. And so um, just uh, get into similar to child pose on your mat. Bend your knees, sit back on your heels, and just raise your right arm. Circle your arm around, rotate your ribcage, look towards your moving arm, open up the chest. And this will get your ribcage more flexible and will restore your shoulder mobility and it will help you with neck tightness as well if you suffer from that. Let's do it on the other side. Raise your arm and circle around and just look towards that moving arm, follow it with your gaze. And let's do a last one. If you have a problem getting into this kneeling position, if your knees don't agree with that, you can always do this seated as well, so just sit on a chair or on your sofa, reach over the head and you can basically recreate the same movement that way. Okay, next things. Um, as I said, seniors often tend to have tight hips. As we age, we use our hips a little bit less and those muscles get tight. They just get used to the lack of range of motion. So on your uh, hands and knees, you're going to raise your knee, take it out to the side, circle it around and give it a nice big circle as you keep the rest of your body relatively still. So just balance on that left leg as you circle the right knee, keep your lower back, shoulders nice and stable. Now let's do this on the other side. Raise your knee up, take it up to the side, bring it down back under your hip. And just visualize the head of that thigh bone circling around in the hip socket. Let's do this twice more, even if you're not a skier, if you're, uh, but you enjoy any kind of winter sport, I highly recommend that you do these knee circles. Okay, um, as I mentioned, oftentimes um, the legs get a little bit uh, underworking or, or um, you might have noticed that you lose strength in your quadriceps, you're going to work on that now. So just come on up to a squatted position, really important in skiing, right? You're squatting the entire time. And since you have to drop the weight back onto your heels, work on that too. Pull up your toes and just try and flare them out. You can drop them now and then pull them up again. Great strengthening exercise for the lower legs, for the feet and for the quadriceps lifting and dropping the toes as you're holding your squat. Um, let's do a plank next. So just plant your hands down, make sure your back is nice and straight, roll back the shoulders, extend your right leg out. Firm up that right thigh and your right hip muscles so you're ready to lift the other leg and put it back as well without any significant weight shift. Uh, lift your chest, Draw in your chin so your head is not sagging. Look down on your quadriceps, try and firm them up as much as you can. And then you can um, add a little extra movement if you push your hips back. 
and you transition forward back into your plank, bend the legs and establish your plank again. And let's do one more of these. Another really important exercise that I want to introduce you to is a bridge with internal, external hip rotation. So just come lay down on your back, turn out your toes, turn out the knees, raise the hips, squeeze the glutes. This will strengthen the external hip rotators that you really need to work on for uh, strength on the ski slopes and now we're gonna bring our heels together but the toes are still apart and so that targets your legs from a little bit different angle you probably feel um, your quadriceps your inner thighs your hip muscles focus on your core as well mm, draw the breastbone the navel and the pubic bone together press your shoulders down for upper back strength so these are, both of these foot positions were external hip rotator strengtheners. Now we are going to pigeon to our feet and turn the toes inwards towards each other, just like you do when you snowplow on your skis. So with that internal hip rotation, you probably feel a little bit more engagement of the inner thighs and possibly a stretch on the lateral side of the hips. Hmm, let's do a couple more repetitions of these. At home, be sure to do at least 10 repetitions of uh, all the exercises that we covered today. I hope you enjoyed these exercises and they will help you mm, be strong and, and uh, uh, functional and stable on your skis and you're going to have fun in the ski season. If you would like more uh, strengthening exercises or you would like a complete program of how to prepare yourself for skiing, visit my website and check out uh, the shop tab. I have a number of on-demand home programs under the shop tab that you can choose from. Um, if you would like more personalized guidance and you would like to work with me, also visit my website at www.painfreeforlifepilates.com and uh, set up a free 15-minute phone consultation so we can get things going. Uh, if you would like more exercise ideas and you enjoyed this video, um, go back to my main channel on YouTube and check out my playlist.